You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Here we go, guys. The Tiger Woods drama does not end. So many people now are just so triggered over what Tiger Woods did. A harmless joke giving a tampon to Justin Thomas. It was just between them, but the cameras caught it. And then the woke mob, they activated. They activated. This would have been a non-story 15 years ago. This is nothing. Tiger Woods wasn't offending anybody. And if you were offended, that is a you problem. Now, Tiger Woods came out with an apology, which I didn't think he should apologize. But you know what? I told I told you guys this. It would never, ever be enough. There's people out there actually saying that he truly did not apologize. And Michael Johnson, the four time gold medalist at the Olympics, is one of them. Michael Johnson went full beta male and decided, you know what? He needed to trash Tiger Woods over this. Guys, we are so, so weak as a society today. They don't want men to be men. They want men to become cut and nothing more. The Wolves get enjoyment by doing that, by emasculating men. Now, Tiger Woods, you, are, you should have never apologized because, look, now you have another person coming out and slamming you for this. Look here on OutKick. Olympic gold medalist Michael Johnson blasts Tiger Woods' apology, says he's learned nothing. Now, I was actually on a sports war stream with uh, Ryan this morning. And I actually said, you know what? Tiger Woods was actually a whole lot better when he was just running around, sleeping around with a bunch of women, cheating on his wife. He was winning a lot. Not so much now. Now, granted, he's 47 years old. He's had a bunch of injuries. But you know what? I'm just being honest here. A lot of your top athletes out there, they do stuff like that. They just do. The media is not going to talk about it, you know, but we know they were actually running around and being kind of wild. And that's what Tiger Woods was doing. But in this case right here, what Tiger Woods did was nothing. It was a joke. You know, this is why comedy is actually dead right now, because com comedians are actually be being canceled left and right. The votes are still going after Dave Chappelle. They are relentless. But Dave Chappelle, he's still here. Let's read this, guys. Tiger Woods made headlines Thursday for a prank played on fellow PGA Tour player Justin Thomas. Woods, 47, outdrove Thomas, 29, on the ninth hole at the Genesis Invitational during the first round. I didn't know that uh, Justin Thomas is actually 29 years old. I mean, Tiger Woods is old enough to be his father. Think about that. Uh, Tiger, Tiger sneakily handed something to Thomas while the pair walked off the tee box. Because it's Tiger Woods, cameras caught the item in question. It was a tampon. Of course, many people lost their minds over the harmless prank. Yeah, my video the other day, you had this uh, woke uh, women's group actually going out there and trashing Tiger Woods. Not a surprise. So Tiger Woods apologized. Lame, but it's basically the way our society works. Except four-time Olympic gold medalist Michael Johnson wasn't ready to let Tiger off the hook. He seems to have a problem with the prank, but he really has a problem with the apology. Now, this is what uh, Michael Johnson, gold slipper. Remember, he actually, actually used to run with a gold slipper. He put this tweet out here. Apology starting with, quote, if I offended anyone is no apology. But this is Tiger. Never been a leader. And he's Teflon. Still heralded. it. After all the mistakes, so he's learned nothing. Media focus always on miraculous recovery, ne never why the need for recovery. Now, th this is pretty weak right here. This is pretty weak. This is some beta male stuff here from uh, Michael Johnson. Said he's never been a leader. Now, for one thing, Tiger Woods plays in an individual sport. Who is he actually supposed to be leading besides himself? Now, if you want to talk about him on the leaderboard, uh, he's won, what, uh, 82 times, Michael Johnson. 
82 times he's been a champion at events, and he has 15 majors, the second most of all time. I think he actually knows something about leading to wins, okay? I mean, I don't know why he actually thought he had to come out and say something. I mean, is uh, Michael Johnson now just that irrelevant right now? I know it's been quite a while. I mean, the last time he actually ran in the Olympics, I believe, was actually in 2000 in Sydney, and he did win a gold medal there. In Atlanta, though, in 96, he won three gold medals. Michael Johnson was tremendous. But now he's just a beta. Came into the woke mob, and this is what the wokes want men to do. They want other men to go out there and trash other men. And I believe that just needs to stop. But I think uh, he he's actually uh, getting roasted here in the comment section here. Uh, this comment here says he shouldn't have apologized at all. He made a joke. It may or may not have been funny. Who cares? He wasn't hurting anyone. We have totally lost our way if we can't uh, even attempt to make a joke anymore. Yeah. I mean, that tampon that was just hit between him and Justin Thomas. It wasn't for the cameras. It just so happened that the um, the cameras actually did uh, catch it. I mean, it's utterly ridiculous here. Completely ridiculous. But um, I'm not surprised that um, you actually have some guys, you know, get triggered by this. And Michael Johnson definitely seems to be triggered. And it's probably just because he's uh, pretty irrelevant now that his career is pretty much uh, over with. But what do you guys think of this? What do you guys make of um, Michael Johnson going after Tiger Woods and his apology? I told you, Tiger, it will never, ever be enough. And I'm pretty sure tomorrow somebody else will probably write another article where somebody else slammed you as well. This is a big bunch of nothing, guys. A big bunch of nothing. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.